Hey there, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking at tough or difficult volleys this week at DTL. And today we're looking at probably on a lot of people's list, the toughest one, which is the high backhand volley. You know, there's certain volleys that are tricky because of how to move into them. You know, obviously getting low doesn't feel great on the legs, but just in terms of, of overall technique, the high backhand volley seems to give so many people a lot of trouble. So what I want to do first is look at a, a standard backhand volley at a height that's maybe a little more manageable, maybe a little more shoulder height to chest height. Okay, let's see that one more time. All right, so in terms of comfort level, I am so comfortable at the start, at contact, and it finish because my arms are basically below my shoulders and that for a lot of people is a comfortable thing. On the forehand side, that, that holds true and the tricky thing about the forehand side is a lot of players can get above their shoulder on the high forehand and also feel, feel comfort or, or just kind of relaxation. It's when we get to this high backhand, it's on the opposite side of our body you know, the, the lead shoulder, that right shoulder starts to kind of stiffen up a little bit. But let me show you what I think is the overwhelming theme of today's video. It's consistency in the stroke regardless of the height of the ball. So we just saw that standard height. Tell me if you see a big difference between my technique at that standard height and now a higher ball. Oh, good example right there. Okay, let's see that again. And one more time. And a little bit higher on that one. Okay, so technique wise, you don't notice a difference in that stroke. I might drop slightly down on that higher volley, but that's kind of nitpicky. I think you guys would honestly agree my technique looked very consistent. Now, I'll be honest with you my shoulder, my forearm, just the overall execution of that higher, higher vo volley does not feel as good going through my body. I'm really happy with the results. I directed them where I wanted them to go. I stayed consistent in my swing. It's just not a shot that feels all that great. So what occurs at the club level? Players try to make it a comfortable shot and now all of a sudden we see this racket dropping. Bad hit, bad technique, but guess what I do have? I've got a nice comfort level here. So to me, the, the theme is, you know, do the work, do the hard work to get the resulting shot the way you want it to be, rather than just creating a comfortable feeling through your body that maybe doesn't produce good tennis, okay? The easiest way I know how to describe that good technique at that height is this idea that, that I've discussed before in other videos, which is clearing the table, all right? So if the height of my volley, whatever it may be, but in this case, the higher backhand volley, if the contact is about shoulder height, maybe a little bit higher, the idea is that on this side of my body, there's a table, and the top of the table is at the height of contact, and I've got plates, dishes, you know, knives, silverware, all that stuff. And from my set position when I'm going to hit, the stroke idea is to clear everything off the table, all right? Which again is, I'm holding this position. I don't feel all that comfortable right now. I will do it because I know it works. But what would really feel comfortable is smashing the racket down on top of the table. So if you can really visualize, you know, all this dishware up here, as this ball comes, I'm trying to clear that off the table. Let's see it one more time. And you can see what's, what's going on there in terms of quality tennis is net clearance. There's nothing that's dropping that ball down where I might have that common miss in the net. There's no crazy wrist action where I'm snapping the ball. That would be closer to a backhand overhead. That occurs at a much higher position and generally more behind my body. This is still a shot that I'm making contact with in front of my body. It's very manageable in terms of going to get a good point of contact. 
but it's being okay with the feeling through your body, maybe not being the most comfortable thing, but knowing that it's worth it for executing a good shot, okay? So that's the backhand high volley. I know it's nobody's favorite, but if you can keep the technique very similar to how you'd hit from other heights, you're gonna have a lot more success than going up there and just trying to make your body feel comfortable, okay? So that's all I got for you today. I hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video, and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video You'll find the link to three free courses that Mark and I have put together. I think you'll find those really helpful as well. All right, so until next time, be well, and we'll see you soon at Daily Tennis Lesson.